on you. All right, so this is going to be something a little different. Uh, by popular demand, we're going to do a behind the beat for a tuxedo joint, um, and we're going to do second time around. Um, second time around started as a beat that I made uh, with uh, my homie Scooter and Benji. I don't even remember exactly what we were trying to do, but we came up with a cool little groove, and uh, I brought it to, to Mayor, and we actually recorded the song in Australia on tour. Um, it was one of the first songs we did for our album. And it was one of those ones when he sang the chorus the first time, I was like, yeah, it's probably going to be the one because it just felt good from the beginning. So yeah, I played the bass on it and I played the lead on it, programmed the drums. Scooter played the piano and the synth and Mayer played the guitar. And then uh, I think Will Sessions did the horns on it. So. It's kind of a, you know, serious little process going on. So we're going to try to um, recreate it. It's kind of hard to do it exactly because, you know, the synths are really, you know, it's not like you just go to preset number two or whatever and then you got the sound. <laughs> you got to like turn a lot of knobs and there's a lot of variance in what you're going to come up with. So we're going to break it down as uh, best as we can. So... With this one, uh, I think the idea really started with uh, this kind of initial chord progression um, that Scoot was playing. Um, so we kind of laid that down and then we went to the synths. So we'll kind of show you what we did piano wise. Um, uh, you want to do the go from the chorus? Yeah, start, start, the, start okay. with the chorus part. All right. So, uh, it's pretty jazzy. Yeah. <laughs> something that was like you know a definite like departure from the because the from the hook because the hook is real happy and upbeat so I wanted something more um, jazzy you know kind of in that Tom Brown Jamaica funkish you know zone because I always seem to like to go there yeah. <laughs> um, that's a good spot to be pretty jazzy chords but but um not soft, which is, you know, it's a tricky thing. Yeah. So we came up with this part um, as yeah. kind of, you know, the part for the verse. And it, it, has, it has a different vibe, so it's dope. put in the synth part for a second time around um, we usually like to use you know as you see you know Jake's got a good collection of some vintage boards so that always gets the best uh, sound quality when we're doing stuff so we wanted to make sure we capture that I think and, we actually on the song use the Yamaha CS50 but yeah, yeah, that yeah. shit's at the studio and we didn't feel like bringing it here so <laughs> we use the Yamaha CS which is the new one they got it's the one I play live, so we got something kind of close to it. So, yep, all right, so here it is. Yep. Thank you. 
So yeah, then I then I put the drums in here, and uh, you know what makes this feel like a tuxedo record is it's not like real quantized and rigid. It's real loose and swinging. So if I put if I put the click track on here. the piano so the next thing I added was the bass uh, which is off the over high four voice so for the bass line um, on this track, I played uh, this beast ass synthesizer, the Oberheim four voice. Um, it's really pain in the ass to program, but when you dial in the sound, it's really good. So I'm gonna play something um, bass line wise. It's similar. I didn't exactly get the sound the right way I wanted it, but it should be pretty close. For that part, there's also another lead that comes uh, on the verse part. kind of the lead the lead synth and the bass synth uh, and I'll go back on the Pro Tools and show you the rest so we just added the bass and the, uh, the lead on the song from the uh, Oberheim 4 voice and I'll run it through one time with a plan
that's the main part and the verse part with uh, the Oberon Four voice. It's pretty much everything. The only thing that's not in here is Mare's guitar, which uh, he's going to send me a video of him playing guitar, so you guys will believe he can play guitar. Um, and his vocals, so um, I think he's going to cut some vocals for it too. Redo the vocals, show you how his process is for that. Okay, so started with the Fender Stratocaster guitar. Essential if you want the funk sound. It's the official guitar of funk music. Uh, and then um, I really just did a, some, some picky single note stuff in there. I didn't want it to be too busy. Um, I wanted to kind of sink in to the track. And uh, yeah, and I just started tinkering around with some octave -y. You know, muted, muted, picky kind of stuff. You know, you kind of use the the fat of your hand right here to to mute some of the strings. So you, instead of you get you know more, more muted, muted tone. Four. Suck time around, ho, suck time around. Suck time around, hey, suck time around. Suck time around, ho. Ooh, I think it's gonna be better the second time around. I think it's gonna be better. We can work it out, we can work it out. Oh. Yeah, so then that was I took that main line and added some harmonies to it. You know, everything I do got to have the harmonies, man. That's what makes it Mayor Hawthorne. So I just kind of altered the second half of it. Oh. Stack them up. The second time around We can work it out, we can work it out And then we stack them on top of each other And then there's a third harmony that's a lower note The second time around We can work it out, we can work it out. And then we stack them all on top of each other. It makes a nice three-part harmony. The second time around. Yeah, those are the two harmonies, and then we mix it with the lead. Yeah. I think it's going to be better. The second time around. Makes a nice three-part. I think it's going to be better. We can work it out, we can work it out, oh! 